All right, I'm just uh, adding first clay to my armature for the man. I made I made this jig to hold the armature um, so I can work on it to a little more detail. It's a lot easier than working on the horse, which is back there. I haven't even started the horse yet. That's still the armature back there. Um, I was down here checking the uh, proportions I came up with with the por proportions of this uh, maquette right here and it's exactly the same proportions so I can use him as a straight on model for this uh, figure which is really nice I'm going to uh, not show the whole process because um, I do cover this in my instructional videos uh, I've got one on how I made uh, make armatures and that's why I didn't show you how I did that yesterday but uh, if you're interested in making armatures I show you how to even make the type of wire that you would need if you were making a small armature so that you have strength and grip of the wire I, I forgot that I had done that until last night when I was looking just reviewing that video um, Anyway, so I'm going to add clay to this uh, figure and uh, start getting it ready to go on the horse when I get to that point, too. Um, I've got it on a turntable so I can work on it separately. I built a little table to put my anatomy horse up here so that I can uh, use that as a, a reference while I work on my uh, my horse so all right everybody that's uh, gonna be it for now and I'll be right back time to play with some play I'm not going to fine tune the figure yet. I just want to get them blocked in. And uh, then I'll start working on the horse and adding clay to him.
GoPro stop recording. All right, that's as far as I'm going to get today. It really helps to have a good armature, and I think this armature was really, I, I really did a good job on it. And uh, I'm trying to picture the effect of the horse's back on the uh, weight of his legs pressing against the horse. And that's why I'm sort of uh, making it look like there's an invisible horse underneath him. I'll work on his legs and stuff like that, but I'm not going to... I think I'm going to put leggings on his on his uh, legs. Not sure about a shirt. I don't know. It might be more dramatic with a shirt on, but uh, I've got to think about that. And uh, then i got to also figure out what uh, kind of headdress to put on him. It... If I put any headdress on it. Just lift it up his head a little bit. I'll take the head off and work on the face uh, at another time. For now. I'm just going to leave this sketch as is and... Uh, and I'm going to start fleshing in the uh, horse and then positioning this on the horse and also trying to figure out just exactly uh, how I want to position him even better.
he's going to be reining in his horse, and that's why the horse is suddenly rearing a little bit. And he's going to be carrying a 1866 Winchester. I've got to find out uh, where I can find one around. I, I'll visit the local gun store and see if they've got a replica of it. So I can get measurements off of it. Otherwise, I'll just go buy photographs I see of people carrying the gun. And... Uh, Take my measurements from that. I think I'll bring that arm down just a little. Yeah. Let me try to picture what the, uh, the rifle would be in his hand. All right, I got a friend stopping by, so I better quit. See you guys next time. Good night. Please give me a like and a subscribe and ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.